Let's see, Lorraine. What do the spirits have in store for you today? Wait, I'm seeing something. Is it a man? Well, I'll be darned. It is. <laughs> do you know a uh, Bill? No. How about a Bob? No. Uh, Jack? No. Mike? No. You don't know anybody named Mike? No. <laughs> Girl, you got to get out of the house more. <laughs> Lucky for you, I'm running a special on love potions this week. Oh. Now, for only $99.95, you can get my special deluxe love kit guaranteed to give you a lifetime of matrimonial bliss with a man of your dreams. Who will take it? <laughs> Smart girl. And, uh, <laughs> wouldn't it be worth an extra 20 bucks for him to be faithful? Definitely. <laughs> Now, what you do, Miss Wiesner, is you drink this little bottle of love potion, then you get naked, and you dance around this little red candle like crazy until you work up a real good sweat. <laughs> Ew, not a pretty picture. Oh, Renfield, don't be so catty. W what? Oh, I was just talking to the cat. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, anyway, you do this every night until Mr. Wright wins surfs into your life. <laughs> oh, Elvira, how can I ever thank you? Next time, bring cash. <laughs> Hello? Hello? I'm back. <laughs> Come in. Careful of the step. <laughs> Minerva? the heck are you doing with that shopping cart? Oh, don't worry, dear. I'll send it right back to the store. Nerva, what have I always told you about exposing yourself? Oh, dear. Did I tuck my skirt into my pantyhose again? <laughs> no. I mean exposing your witchcraft. Oh. Come on, you know the rules. As long as you don't do it in public, you can do it as much as you like. Mm. Or until you need glasses. <laughs> Oops. Too late. You shut up, you furball, or I'll have you neutered again. Oh, Elvira, I hate living in the closet. Look, I don't like it any better than you do, but I'm sick and tired of pulling up stakes just to keep from getting burned at one. <laughs> Besides, I like living here in Manhattan. Oh, yes, glamorous Manhattan. When you told me we were moving to Manhattan, I thought, Broadway, Times Square, but no, you meant Manhattan, Kansas. <laughs> the little apple, the city that always sleeps. <laughs> Look, the main thing is that nobody's caught on to the fact that we're witches, and I'd like to keep it that way, okay? <laughs> well, it's not as if we were Siegfried and Roy. I mean, we can only do a few harmless parlor tricks, moving shopping carts, fixing parking meters, switching price codes. You can switch price codes? Of course. Look, I got this family-sized jar of chunky peanut butter for only 25 cents. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get my shaving cream? I knew I forgot something. Oh, great. I'll just spread this on my legs and let the rats chew off the hairs. <laughs> Now, can you please take this shopping cart back to the store? Well, can I at least ride in it? Minerva? I'll push it, I'll push it. Oh, Minnie, bring back some kitty litter, or you'll be sorry. <laughs> this machine does everything. Dried fruits, jalapenos, bridge mix, and pressed meats. But this five Look at that, Renfield. A five-tray electric food dehydrator. Imagine, we could make hundreds of pounds of beef jerky. Stop, I'm grueling. Switch it back to Sharon the fat lady. Minerva, get the door! I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold your horseshoes. Hey there, pretty lady. Renfield. Did we order a hunky stud muffin from the home shopping club? <laughs> Who was that? <gasps> excuse me, but uh, which one of you is a psychic? I, I am. am. <laughs> I have to excuse my aunt. She's getting senile. 
I was going to put her in one of those homes, but you know how they mistreat the elderly. <laughs> okay. okay, you can have him. I had the insurance salesman. <laughs> so, you must be Elvira. <sighs> no, I must be dreaming. <laughs> and you are? Ch uh, Chip. Chip Taylor. Oh, <laughs> Chip. As in potato? <laughs> Bet I can't eat just one. <laughs> Walk this way. <laughs> Dr. Dini Sailor. <laughs> hmm, let's see. Oh, Chip, I see big things in your future. Really? Yes. Would you like to see more? Yes, ma'am. Mm. But, but actually, uh, what, I, what I really came here for was, uh, friends of mine told me that you sell love potions and uh, I'd like to buy one. How much is it? I don't know. How about if I just lip wrestle you for it? <laughs> Minerva, I've got the door! Mm, hold that thought, Chip. Right between your knees. <laughs> oh, put me down for two boxes of chocolate mint and one vanilla cream. Thanks! <laughs> Until you got the cookies. Uh, uh, I can see that you're busy. Uh... Busy? Whatever gave you that idea? <laughs> see? I'm completely free. At least for the first three minutes. Uh, how about if I just come back tonight? Oh, tonight. <laughs> Groovy. Yeah, I'll come back tonight and I'll give you my happy hour special. <laughs> Two. For the price of one. <laughs> Are you still here? What do you want? My name is Paige Grayson. Yeah, so? I'm your niece. On my knees? I ain't getting on my knees for no Girl Scout. <laughs> no, no. I'm your niece. Otto Vira. <laughs> I'll have one chocolate mint and two golden nut clusters. <laughs> Minerva, this young lady in the clunky shoes seems to think she's related to us. You must be Paige. Oh, darling, I'm your great aunt Minerva. Oh, let me look at you. Oh, my, how you've grown. <laughs> but you've never seen me before. <laughs> well, I'm assuming you used to be much smaller, didn't you? <laughs> Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Who is she? She's Elvin's child. But my brother never told me he had any kids. He didn't know it himself. He died before she was born. Her mother disappeared a few years ago in a mysterious boating accident in the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> Poor dear Paige. She was raised by nuns on a remote island off the coast of Maine. <laughs> Now she's come to stay with us. Well, that just explains everything. <laughs> it, it wasn't until I turned 18 that the sisters warned, uh, told me about you. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever been away from boarding school. Oh, so that's a uniform. Oh, thank God. I thought you just had really bad taste. <laughs> The sisters taught us not to dress in a way that could tempt men to sin. Well, let that be a lesson to you, dear. Never take fashion tips from a nun. 